Freeze, asshole! Put your hands up! I'm sorry, who are you? Who are you? Is this how you normally walk into a room? No, but when I walk in and I see a bunch of fucking dead bodies on the floor, I tend to lose my cool. What the fuck is going on here? What does it look like, my friend? Everyone's been shot. I can see that. Who are you? Sharp. The name's Sharp. Mr. Sharp. Your last name is Sharp? Yep. What's your first name? Mr. Don't play stupid with me. I'm not playing stupid with you, my friend. It's Mr. M-I-S-T-E-R. Mr. Sharp. Now, who the hell are you? Who am I? I'm the man with the briefcase. Where's container? Mikey container. Mikey container! I've been looking for him myself. I'm supposed to meet him here, but uh, seems like I'm too late. Where is he? I have no idea, my friend. Okay, I just walk in here. Next thing I know, I got somebody putting a 12 gauge in my face. Why are you meeting container here? Look, I was given a call by some of my people. They wanted me to come down and make sure some money was delivered safely. That's all. Okay, I have no idea who container is, what it even looks like. Oh, fuck this. I'm gonna find out why my time is being wasted. I'm, uh, I'm assuming that gentleman's Mikey Container? Half his head is gone. He doesn't usually look like that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take a seat, my friend. Don't I... move! Don't you move or I'll blow your fucking head clean off! Do you have a gun? Yes. Give it to me. No. Well, you can have my clip. This is my favorite gun. Is that the only gun you have? Yes. Now that you can see I'm clearly not a threat to you, I'm going to go ahead and take a seat. You seem very tense, my friend. You really should take a seat, sit down so we can discuss, see what happened here. This was supposed to be my last run. After this, I'm retiring. You're not cut out for it anymore, maybe, huh? Yeah, maybe. And my wife dies of cancer. Sorry to hear that. More than that, though, I got a full year old son. I'd like to stay alive or out of prison so he doesn't turn out fucked up like his old man. You got a family? No. No offense, but I'm not surprised. In general, that was an offensive comment, but none taken. So. How much money do you have in that bag? A lot. I see. It's a secret. Yeah. Either way, it's enough to get a guy in a lot of trouble. Yeah, the cartels down here are running wild. I mean, in Juarez, it's even worse. It's a war down there. I'm not talking about the cartels. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about the police, my friend. Oh, I... I'm not talking about the police either. I'm talking about the bandits. Bandits. You mean, you mean the cartel members, right? No, bandits. Psycho outlaws going around killing dealers for their money and drugs. I've been hearing a lot of stories lately. Not even the cartel guys are safe. Is that what you're saying? Is, you think that some, some bandits did all this? <laughs> Whoever did this was looking for this briefcase. They didn't find it. Who knows when they may come back? Yeah, I highly doubt that. Then again, if they do come back, you're a big man. You can just uh, stick your gun in their face and shout at them, just like you did to me. Hmm. I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about him. Who's him? Like I said, I've heard stories. Well, man with the briefcase, why don't you tell me some of these stories you've heard? There's a guy been going around these parts. No one knows his name, but the locals call him El Vaquero. What the hell does that mean? The cowboy. Cowboy? Yeah. He's a cowboy? No. Does he ride a horse? No. Does he lasso? No. Lasso cows? No. Does he ride on cows? No. How can he be a cowboy hey, if he doesn't hey, have Hey, Johnny Carson. You want to hear this story or not? My apologies. Continue. His mother was an 18-year-old prostitute. Poor girl who died during childbirth.
became like an animal. Apparently, at age 16, he cut off the arm of a local street thug who tried to mug him. The whole arm? The whole arm. You can never trace him because he's always on the move. He's just a loner with no name, no home, no attachments. He just kills, and he kills, and he kills. Okay, so he rises from the dead. My friend, if I could just give you some advice. Don't ever believe in these myths or urban legends, okay? Mm -hmm. I've heard enough shit from enough people to know that this is no myth. Look, there's no use just to sit here and jerk off. No offense, though, you're a real fun guy. I'm going back to the city, make a few calls, try to figure this thing out. My friend... Go ahead. If I can just ask you, what would it take for us to split whatever's in that briefcase you have and walk out of here? <laughs> I don't think so. Like I said, after this, I'm retiring. I don't need someone coming after me and my son over some cash. <sighs> nice meeting you. Friend, just, you've got me curious. Yeah, now. go ahead. If I was to run into this cowboy, um, how would I know? What does he look like? Not sure. I think he wears a hat. Okay, great. So does everybody else in this fucking place. A ring. A ring? Yeah, I've been told he wears a, some kind of a gold ring with a scorpion stamped on it or something. He uses it to stamp the people he's killed, kind of like a signature. Do you mean a ring like this? Wait a minute, you're the cowboy? Based on what you've told me, uh, I believe that gentleman over there is a cowboy. Like I told you, my friend, don't believe in myths. You're the one that did all of this. Bravo. Now, if you don't mind, I need the briefcase. Nice gun. I thought you said you only had one. The briefcase, please. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. Why is that? Because it's not mine to give. I see. Make your move.
get some less hard truth. Okay, what's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job.